Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today playing through this incredibly fun descend to get a free roll in the Gung Ho Collab. So, using Gung Ho Collab cards lets you have significantly increased stats. But the problem is, you have to roll before you can really play this dungeon. But for myself, I want to roll after I play because I want to get all my free rolls first. Use Algae Kitty to keep being immune. To be fair, Kuro, the last time I died is because I just didn't want to skill something up. And that's why it didn't come up in time, so I died. Alrighty. Okay, now I Algae Kitty and we're good to go. Okay. Everything charges up soon enough. We're good. We're good. Pretty sure it's enough damage. Got some hardening water cards. So I got some killers on my team. It will help. And also make a mental note that if I want to do a bit more damage, I make light crosses. Probably not necessary for this part here, but it's okay. I forgot to move my kitty to the right again. Holy fish. Okay, let's just hope I get lots of light orbs. Every time I forget to move my kitty to the right, it should be on the right because of this dragon spawn. Alright, so mental note, make some lots of light combos, minimize red and blue. This game is hard. Minimize red and blue is what I said, right? Okay, hopefully I don't get any other Skyfalls. LJ Kitty, do the thing! I did the thing. Alrighty, I avoided matching the colors I'm not supposed to. So, there's a big preemptive on the next floor, and I'm going to use my big damage reduction at some point. Next turn. I survive, at least. But you can see how hard it hits without a shield. But I'm saving the shield to get those free, sweet, sweet auto heals. Don't know why, actually. But I am. This must be supremely holy fish indeed, Colton. On to the next floor. So yeah, it hits hard, but I decided, like, I could have shielded beforehand, but if you didn't, this is a good time to do it, of course. It's a pretty hard hit when you think about it. So I'm going to shield and not die ever. I'm going to clear the unmatchable, and then I am going to Algae Kitty. So I've got a big shield lasting for many turns. I'm getting lots of auto heal. I'm going to have a good time. And didn't I say what I want to do? I don't remember already. I can tank it, it's fine. I made a, I should have matched more water, whatever. Yeah, Karen could have done more, but it's okay. Remember, big shield, lots of auto healing. I'm fine. And then I'm gonna delay the next floor so it won't even matter. On to the next floor, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is where I'm gonna force my way through the boss by using the force active skill from a regular Orochi. It's like one of the few five turn delays available. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna try and clear all these negative orbs. So I can technically start killing it now when you think about it. I have no negative orbs, aside from one dinky one in the top. And yeah, this should be fine. And I do have a large amount of killers, which is pretty nice. Alrighty, super resolved, and I have two turns now to kill it, so this should be great, because 
I do have a lot of killers. They're devil and attackers, so that's why I layered up on these killer cards. It's gonna kill them pretty well. Oh, I almost missed that light combo. Whoops. Well, I almost missed activating, but it should be fine. Big money! Good job, Orochi. Forcing my way through it. Wait and save. Alrighty. So yeah, I feel like a five turn delay is just the best way to deal with the boss because all that nonsense is dealt with. So yeah, just layer up of gung-ho collab cards. I guess bring killers if necessary. Things are pretty tanky. But with that being said, hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there have a truly fantastic day. I wish you this like your own Pat Adventures. I can finally do my roles in gung-ho collab and... Happy puzzling.